YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Kim Cade Creations. I'm your host, Spencer. Good to see you guys. Good to be here. And I am so super excited to show you what I've been working on. Um, Mortal Kombat 1. I'm loving this game, and I am so loving making all the minifigures from it. Today, I got a brand new one for you guys that I'm so super proud of because I did some really cool stuff to get them made. Today, our guest combatant for the evening will be Dun -da -da -dun, the great Kong Lao himself. I am so super proud of how he turned out for everybody. And of course, we have Lord Liu Kang and the man himself, Mr. Johnny Cage here to accompany and, you know, just provide some backup support. <laughs> um, so, but anyways, Kong Lao, I am so, so super proud of how he turned out. Truly, I think he came along great. I painted up everything for him just to get him looking good. I, uh, I'm going to take this away and show you guys the really cool bit that I'm so proud of. So, of course, you know, Kong Lao, the whole deal is his razor sharp hat that he uses as the weapon. Now, his head is actually a Bruce Wayne hairpiece that I took and carved out, glued on to a clone trooper head. Then I took a stud, shaved it away, glued it dead in the center, and uh, I put pipe cleaners for his little braids of hair to make it work. The hat is just a Sensei Wu hat, and I took one of those little uh, handheld grip pieces that they use for all the effects and all the uh, power blasts and stuff. We'll use Quan Chi to show you guys what piece it is, that one there. This guy will be in the next video, by the way. <laughs> um, but anyways, his hat turned out so super good, and you can take it on and off, and I'm so proud. I'm so, so proud of the fact that it looks so great for him. But anyways, you know, got to put it back on so he can, you know, do the stunt move. Shing! <laughs> but um, anyways, he turned out great, and I'm so stoked to share him with you guys. Um, the little ring... Thing, the medallion on his uh, belt is just a little, um, oh shoot, just basically one of these that I took the tip off of and glued onto there to make it look good. I put pipe cleaners for the little extra fabric lining and then painted everything and it looks so good. I'm so super proud of how he looks. So I thought you guys would dig it, and I hope that somebody decides to take this and make a new Kung Lao of their own. Maybe do something new with uh, Sensei Wu's hat or something like that. But, you know, anyways, ideas flowing and all that jazz. But uh, thanks, everyone, for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed seeing Kung Lao all done up. I'm so proud. He turned out so cool. It was so tricky to get his hat right, but I'm so glad with how it looks. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you all for joining me.